Filipino women love black guys. I don't know what it is. Filipino women love black guys. It's okay, though, because Filipino men love black guys, too. <laughs> my sister married a black guy. It's true. They say once you go black, you never go back. It's true. My sister's never been back. Is that my mom's house? My sister's husband, he's a good man. He's a lawyer. It's good to have a lawyer in your family, right? But I never thought in all my dreams that my brother-in-law was going to be a brother-in-law. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, and they have beautiful children, half black, half Filipino, beautiful kids. Two little boys, little girl. I remember when the boys were born. I was at the hospital. I was like, God damn, that's the beautiful court, right? <laughs> Welcome back to Rich Rich Broad. This is Richie Rich. This is Chang. And today we're going to answer a question that has been asked to us on so many different occasions. I know. <laughs> so many different ways, so many different kinds. Uh, people have asked this question numerous times and finally we're going to answer it and put it to rest. So people have asked us what? What kind of men do Filipinas want? Uh, but before we continue, don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated of our latest videos and don't forget to watch till the end of this video because question number four is coming up and hey <laughs> and hitting the like button the subscribe button the notification button today it's all free yeah right <laughs> all right all right so let's get into it let's check out the videos are you ready hey let's, let's get, get it, it. <laughs> hot tea yeah right hot tea. okay so Okay, so let's begin with um, teen first. Okay, teen. Okay. So I which one would you uh, go out with? I think the first one. This one. In the middle. Yeah. No. Okay, that's good. Okay. okay. So um, why? Uh, I like black. Oh, really? She's oh, got jungle because, feet. You know, there's a lot, a lot of subscribers, black men, mm -hmm. who are asking me if Philippine, if they have a chance with Filipino, Filipino women. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. how about you? Me, I think I would choose this one. Oh, this one, why? <laughs> well, actually, I'm mm -hmm. attracted, I'm attracted yeah. to any Filipino guys. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I am attracted to white guys. Mm -hmm. okay, so both those were good looking dudes, right? I know, right? But, uh, but um, first girl said, obviously said, she, you know, she's straight up, she's attracted to black men. Mm -hmm. Can't say I blame her. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> Can't say I blame her, but... Um, but what do you, so I want to ask you, what, what do you, what, how do you feel? How do you feel, um, in your opinion, what kind of men do Filipino women like? Do Filipino women, are, are, are Filipino women attracted to black men? I think so, yes. Because generally speaking, Filipinas would go for every man who would mm -hmm. treat her right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, someone she can buy with. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think... Um, Personally speaking, uh, I talked to several white guys mm -hmm. and some black guys mm -hmm. too, and I usually <laughs> what? I vibe this is new to me. I didn't know. Okay, Go ahead. I vibed with some black guys. I really? realized that. Yeah, I I talked to some white guys, what? and then yeah, uh -huh. and then I when I just you know we're having this conversation, mm -hmm. I just realized that oh. I really vibed with black guys. <laughs> black dude, uh, younger dudes or, or older dudes or was it? Um, was it? it's they're older than me. Uh -huh. so, yeah. well, older than you. Okay. Older than so me. like in their forties and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I didn't, I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. because we, we we tend to have a lot in common. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the opinion of the average Filipino woman? Uh, do you think do you think most Filipino women share your share your sentiments or or how do you think most women here feel? I think mostly most of the Filipinas would go for white guys mm -hmm. because um, because technically it's like a, a beauty standard here in the mm -hmm. Philippines that uh, people would like whiter to have whiter skin complexion I think for themselves. I think that's everywhere in Asia. Yeah, so not just, the not just in yeah. the Philippines, but I think that most girls would like to date. A uh, white guy, especially the the eyes, because I'm a sucker for eyes. True, Blasian baby. <laughs> Blasian baby is beautiful. I know. Beautiful. <laughs> I True. I've seen several Blasian yeah, babies. Yeah. My experience here in the Philippines has been relatively the same as it was at home. 
Um, I had no problem getting women at home. I've never had a problem getting women at home. And coming to the Philippines, I don't think I've struggled. Although I haven't put a lot of effort into dating here mm. because I put more effort into, into working. Mm. Dating has kind of been put on the back burner for me. But I, I would definitely say that if you are a man on your grind, if you are, if you have a good disposition, you treat people good, people will see that. And I think, um, and especially if you're a good looking dude, mm -hmm. people will see that and you're not going to have any problem. You're not going to struggle at all with women. What? Good looking dude. I, I'm, not, Zach. I'm not saying me. I'm just, <laughs> I know. I'm just saying if you're a good looking dude, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying I'm saying if you're a good looking dude, you are probably not going to have a problem uh, getting women here. Um, but I will say this. I will actually say this. I, I, one of the things that I've noticed about Asia, about dating women in Asia, and not just here, but also in China, mm -hmm. um, is that women hesitate to date a dude who's too good looking. They know the competition is stiff. I'm they sure. know other women are going to come after their dude. Mm -hmm. And they're always worried about losing their dude to somebody else. Yeah. So, um, so sometimes being too good looking can actually be a hindrance to yeah. you. Yeah, but if it's my dude... I'm gonna fight for him, you know. I'm gonna yeah, do my best to keep him. Yeah. You gonna be easy? Right. Hey. Yo, hey. one two, right? <laughs> right. Yo, one two. All right, mm, I got you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get on to this next part. This next video, and we'll hear a little bit more about this. I think a lot of people are unaware of how deep the relationship is between Filipinos and black people. First of all, everything I'm going to say is public knowledge. If I found it on Google, I'm pretty sure you could too. They used to separate Filipinos and black people in the US Navy as shown here. One of the first people to discover our islands was an African tribe, and we still have African tribes present in the Philippines as of today. There was also a war between American forces and Filipino president and nationalist Emilio Aguinaldo, where David Fagin, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but he was an African-American soldier who decided okay. to help the Filipinos alongside two or three other African-American soldiers. There's some deep ties between the brothers and Filipino people, the Filipino culture. I, mm, I think uh, black people and Filipino people have a lot of things in common. Number one said, is yeah. for the skin color. Mm -hmm. We have resemblance in skin color. We mm -hmm. have darker skin color. Uh, yeah. And another thing is that I, this is what just I this is what I just noticed or mm -hmm. my observation. Both Filipinos and black uh, people would love loves to sing and to dance. They're really good at singing and in dancing. Would you agree with that? I, I, you know what? I, I would kind of agree with that. I know I know, y'all really like singing innately, and dancing. Innately. Yeah. Like innately. It, it's one of those things that we mm -hmm. definitely have in common. We, we like entertainment. We like entertainment, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because I I saw this one, one black guy and then, mm -hmm. you know, they have this natural groove mm -hmm. every time they, they hear music. I am just saying. Mm -hmm. I, they have, I feel like they have this natural groove there's one other thing that I wanted to point out too, and it's what I actually call the Obama effect. Mm. I think I think it's really important to point out the effect that Barack Obama had on a lot of countries mm -hmm. uh, for black people in a lot of countries because suddenly, whereas people used to like maybe look down on black people, um, with Barack Obama being the most powerful man on the planet for mm. eight years, two different terms, it brought about a certain amount of respect for black people as a whole. And I think it became more acceptable mm -hmm. for women to date or for women to look at black men yeah, okay. as um, as uh, as a potential partner. I think that made a lot of difference in society uh, when people looked on the Internet or people looked at the news and they saw Barack Obama as a man of power. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time, I think, overall throughout the world or the planet that people started to look at a black person or black men in, in a different light. And I yeah. think that definitely makes a difference. And there's one more thing too. I think the NBA coming to the NBA coming to Asia, hmm. um, the Chinese market, the Philippines market. I think that makes obviously you know when the NBA comes to town, mm -hmm. it's showtime, right? Yeah, the girls are going to be there. The, the everybody's going to be there. People are going to be you know, um, it, it's it's a show, and I, and there's no way you can think that that doesn't have an effect on how women look at men and how women look at dating. Because people see the the guys, some you know, a lot of the guys in the NBA are handsome. They're mm. six foot, mm, six they're, pack, right? Mm, I mean, yeah. they, I don't know what else is six, but <laughs> but you know, a lot of those guys are good looking. I know they're young, you know, strapping young dudes, athletic, so, yeah, athletic, right? They're all the things that a lot a lot of women want. And on top of it all, don't forget they're rich. Yeah, right. They're also yeah. rich. So you get a whole new category of guys, uh, of young men 
who are qualified, who are mm. very qualified, if not overqualified, for most of the women around them. So I think those two things play a huge role in how younger women, especially, I would say 40 years and under, look at look at black. But two of my most important aims are number one, to let men out there know that they have other options other than just Western women. Mm -hmm. That's one. I, I've been an athlete my whole life. I like a slender woman. I like a fit woman. I mean, show you muscle. You got muscle. You got muscles. I look at her, right. Look at her, right. See, you feel me? Anyway, but I do. But I mean, but I, I like a woman like Chang. I like someone who's slender, who's fit. Um, th that's my preference. So if you are one of those kind of guys, going to the Philippines, going to Thailand, going to Asia, um, going to other countries, Brazil, there are women that are probably going to be much more suitable for you or to your taste, who are going to be fit, feminine, friendly. My objective is to make sure that the men out there know that. I encourage men to take advantage of the opportunity to go abroad and meet the woman of their gene. Mm -hmm. We don't promote hatred here in our no, channel. No, I don't, pro I don't hate nobody. I'm not mm -hmm. going to hate on no group. But I do want men to know that they have other choices. Yeah, okay? moving on. All right, let's get it. Yes, Marlon. Filipinas also like black men, okay? And to the other lady who commented about why do Filipinas only go with white men, it's not true. It's not true. You don't see it often, but, you know, it's it happens. A lot of Filipinas go with black men. I'm not saying that in a, in a racist way, okay? I'm just answering this right here. A lot of Filipinas do date or marry a black man. A matter of fact, I have... I knew some people that is married to a black man and, and their relationship is really, really well. And I think, I believe that it doesn't matter what the nationality, what your color is. Filipinas will go with just anyone. But mostly we are attracted to a American white man. I think I already answered some part of this. Uh, question mm -hmm. or a while ago because you know as Philip as a Filipino or the stereotype here in the Philippines is that uh -huh. Filipinas or Filipinos in general aim a whiter skin complexion. You right. take supplements, you take you put on lotion just to make your your skin whiter. You know because that's the that's, uh, the, that's the yeah the beauty standard here. The the whiter your skin complexion is, the more beautiful you are. The more pointed your nose is, the more beautiful you are. Now so um so again it it doesn't necessarily mean that we don't like black guys. Uh, -huh. uh we we like majority of the Filipinos here would want to date a white guy but it doesn't uh eliminate the fact that we also like to date other people as well mm -hmm. or black guys in particular right she also pointed out that you know that it's it's not so common um is that it's more common to see white guys with with a filipino woman i would also i, I would also say demographically there's going to be probably 50 white guys for every one black man here too. Mm, yeah. So there's a reason that it's not so common. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole, whole, whole bunch of black men here, especially black American men here. There's not a whole bunch of them. So it's not because it's not because uh, Filipino women don't want to date black men. It's just because demographically, they're just not that many here. Mm -hmm. So, so always, I, I think that's an important point to keep in mind as well. I would agree. And also, particularly black American, because, you know, it's really communication would always be a barrier if you're, if the black guy doesn't know how to speak English. So I think uh, one of the factors that would be considered by a Filipina is for her to communicate effectively uh -huh. with her partner. So I think um, even if you're a black guy, but if you don't communicate well in English, then I think that would be one of the hindrance in getting a, a partner. Probably, probably. Yeah. A good point. In short, if you are black, if you're getting in the gym, if you're about that bag, if you're about, if you're about um, being productive, if you're about being a family man, um, this could definitely be the place for you because that you're you hear there is a lot of women who are have traditional values and who are looking for that kind of guy. Uh, most of the women do not care what color you mm -hmm. are. Yes, do women have preferences? Do some of the women here have preferences? Absolutely. But don't you have preferences? Don't I have preferences? Just because that's your preference, it doesn't mean that you ain't willing, willing to dip somewhere else. And I, I definitely know that I have preferences. I mean, I prefer black women, to be honest, but that does not mean I'm not willing to taste the rainbow.
Mm -hmm. And at the end of the rainbow, you know, love lo knows no color. Are you doing it? <laughs> Where you go again, man? Come on, man. That's like a, a, Come on, a thought to, okay, right. to cap off our video. Let's change. Love knows no color. Okay, love, okay, taste the rainbow. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, right. you know, that's a good point. You know, love knows no uh, color. We, we got the point. We definitely got the point. Anyway, look. Um, white, black, if you're, if you're a Western man and you, uh, don't feel like the choices you have in your country are the choices you want, you have more choices. You have other choices. Come out to the Philippines. Come see, come holler at your boy and, uh, and let's have some fun. There's more mm. fun in the Philippines. Agreed. Yeah, Question no. number four yeah, is me. what was the street food that Rich ate in our videos? Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. So, yeah. So way back in the day, you can, if you go back through the videos, there's a straight street food that she made me eat. Mm. Uh, Very she, obvious uh, answer. That she made me eat. And, uh, and I'm not going to say it was delicious. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but you said it was yeah. an acquired. Taste. It was an acquired taste. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I recommend it at least once and yeah, maybe you might like it. Maybe you might really like it, but, um, that's question number four. What was the street food that I sampled when I first got here. Yeah. All so right. I hope you liked our video for today. Do not put your answer in the con not in yet. the comments. Save your answers till we get to number seven and then be the first person to send your answer in and you will be eligible to be that prize winner. The Rich Rich Abroad t-shirt and a gift certificate to your favorite place. So get your contest answers in. In the meantime. This is Chang. No, 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 no. no. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below because it's free. <laughs> yeah. It's free. You don't, you don't even have to pay. In the meantime, Richie Rich Abroad, this is Richie Rich. And this is Chang. We're out. Deuces.